When solving real-world division problems, there really are three scenarios you need to be looking out for. And it's important to really visualize what's happening in each story. The first scenario is where you get your answer and you get rid of the remainder. That's usually when you're sharing equally. Second is you have to add one more to your answer. That's a question where you need to make sure there's enough of something. And finally, your answer is the remainder. Those questions are about how much is left. So I'm, we're going to do three examples. Here's the first. Josh and Paula have a bag full of chocolates. They decide to share them equally and give the rest to their teacher. If there are 87 in the bag, how many does each kid get? So first we need to do the actual division. This question is going to be about sharing equally because Josh and Paula are sharing the chocolates. Two goes into eight four times, which is eight. We subtract and bring down. Two goes into seven three times, which is six. We have one left over, but in this story, the one left over is the candy that's going to the teacher. So each child gets 43 chocolates. And we get rid of that remainder. Here's the second scenario. The fourth grade has 102 students. If they're taking minibuses that hold nine students each, how many minibuses will they need for their field trip to the aquarium? In this problem, we need to make sure there's enough so no students are left behind. We want to make sure they all get to the aquarium. So first we'll do the addition. Nine goes into 10 one time, which is nine. Subtract and bring down. Nine goes into 12 once, which is nine. We have three left over. Now the remainder three means three students who still haven't got to the aquarium and they need a bus too. So for this problem or this type of problem, we're gonna need to add one to our answer. So we actually need 12 mini buses, not 11. 11 wouldn't be enough. Here's the last scenario where our answer is the remainder. Miss Milton is stacking dictionaries on her bookshelf. If seven dictionaries can fit on each shelf and she has 65 dictionaries, how many will be on the last shelf? Okay, so that last shelf is like our remainder after we do the division. So let's do that. 65 divided by seven. Seven goes into 65 nine times, which is 63. There's two left over. So the remainder two. So there's nine on each shelf. There's two left over on that last shelf. So our answer is two dictionaries. So figure out which of these three scenarios each problem is. Sharing equally, making sure there's enough, or how much is left. Good luck.